Hello beautiful people and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this as I share with you my take on the viral pumpkin spice makeup look. We just did the viral latte makeup look this past summer and that was really hot but now it is fall and pumpkin spice everything. I don't make the rules. It's just, it is what it is. I'm here for it because I have been loving seeing the different variations of this makeup look on social media with people creating different looks. It's beautiful. It's perfect for fall and why not? Let's call it pumpkin spice. I'm going to show you a simple and easy way that you can recreate this viral and trending makeup look without having to take several different steps to achieve it. Let's get started. Let's jump right in. Kind of a random note. It's been like two months since I've sat in front of this camera because I just had a baby and and this is like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting back into it. I have less than 30 minutes to do this makeup look while my child sleeps. We need all the caffeine and all the urgency. Let's start right now. When I'm going into fall, winter, I love always wearing a foundation. I don't know why, it's just saying it out loud. I'm, I'm starting to like think like, why do I do that? I don't really know, but it just, it feels right. It feels right. We're gonna use the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. I really love this foundation because it's really light, but it has really good coverage. It's just such a beautiful finish. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this on. Probably not the most sanitary way to apply it, but again, I'm moving quick here. Oh, I'm in the color 6.5, by the way. Do I need to bring you closer? Mm, I don't wanna bring you closer. Yeah, I just love how this blends out. This is the Sigma F53 brush, by the way. I have retired my Sephora 65 brush, even though it was my favorite. I need to clean it. That's why we're not using it. It's the only reason why I retired it. <laughs> I do love this brush. It is a stipple brush. Any kind of stipple brush will work when you're doing something like this. This foundation is just so flawless. You could use your fingers and rub it in. Like, it's that beautiful. So we got the foundation on. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention. I just feel like you guys should know already by now. In case so you're new to this video or you don't know skincare base it helps protect your skin it helps keep the makeup on longer and it's something that I never skip out on whenever I'm doing my makeup if you want to know what a good skincare base looks like I'm gonna link a video so that you can check that out before I put on this makeup I had my skincare base already on it's just something I always do sometimes I'll record it sometimes I won't but I just wanted to let you know that's what we did now we got that glowy foundation on I'm actually gonna add some more glow because it has to have like an orangey glowy undertone. I love that Giorgio Armani has this. It's a fluid sheer glow enhancer and oh my gosh like when you just look at it it's like pumpkin spice. So this is the fluid sheer glow enhancer in the color 10. Doesn't that look like a pumpkin spice drink? Is that just me? It just it looks like pumpkin spice to me. I'm gonna put this kind of where I usually would put my highlighter. I'm gonna bring you in just a little bit. Already giving an orangey glowy look, which is exactly what I'm going for. I think you need something like this if you're gonna do this look. Obviously it's not 100% necessary, but I feel like you gotta play the part, you know? I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just kind of blend this out. I love adding extra glow. This goes so beautifully with the foundation. It is very messy, so just make sure you have a wipe. It's like super transfery. Not necessarily when you blend it in on your face, but like just applying it, it gets everywhere. Next step, we're gonna do eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. It is currently my favorite right now. I just love it. I love how it fluffs these brows up. Guys, I've been using my serums again for my eyebrows and my eyelashes because we um, have troubles. Oh my gosh, I forgot what it's called. No, it's a serum that I use every night and my brows are starting to get a little bit more thicker My eyelashes are starting to get thicker. I couldn't use that serum while I was pregnant So I was pretty bummed because that was like what helped my lashes look like lashes because otherwise They're just non-existent in my opinion. I'm really happy I get to use them again and like they're starting to grow back Things are starting to to be again. I'm so happy. I'm gonna share with you below what I use because right now it is escaping my mind for some reason. We're gonna go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil in the color 4.5. To be quite honest, this is not my favorite, but I want to use it because it will end up just staying in my makeup drawer for eternity until I throw it out. So I'm gonna just use it. It's not bad. It, I really do like the pencil because it's super light. When it comes to brow pencils, this is the one that I would use. I don't typically like a pencil for my brows. This one's really nice if you have to use one. I usually like pomades or gels. Doing just light strokes and then interchanging with that spoolie to kind of bring them up. That fluff up brow wax really helps them look so much more voluminous. I promise you, there's so much road noise right now. I feel like the universe is taunting me because, I kid you not, it was no road noise like just an hour ago and I was like, Quick, let me film a video. And I started filming. And if it's not road noise, it's someone doing yard work. 
Why does that always happen? I'm really happy with how the brows turned out. I actually want to take back what I said about the pencil not being my favorite because I really like how that looked. It looks natural. It doesn't look like too heavy. Next up is concealer. Really excited about this because I'm actually trying out a new concealer. This is from Kylie Cosmetics. I don't have high hopes for this. No offense to Kylie Cosmetics, but there's been a lot of uh, products that are like more of a miss than hits. This one in particular, I'm interested because this is their Power Plush Longwear Concealer. It's supposed to be like sweat proof. It's supposed to be crease proof and it's supposed to be infused with like vitamin E. I'm using the color 7W and I think that's a little dark but we're gonna work with it. It's not, it's not too bad. I actually think that it has a nice orange hue to it at least from my perspective. So it might be really good for this um, particular makeup look. We're gonna go in like we usually do. I had a really good question that someone asked me. I can't remember if it was on my Instagram or TikTok but they asked me the purpose of concealer and Typically, the, you know, it's for color correcting, and I explained that I like to use my concealer as a way to help define my contour lines. Firstly, what I'm doing here, I'm drawing more attention to this line by adding lightness here. And underneath the eyes, I do have a little bit of discoloration, especially right in here, it's a little bit dark, and when I do apply the concealer, it helps brighten things up. Here is again, I'm playing with the natural highlights of my face, so when light hits me, it's usually brighter here, brighter here, brighter here. That's what I'm enhancing with concealer. I don't know why I explained that to you. You guys didn't ask me, but I felt like if one person asked, it might be on someone else's mind. So I just wanted to include that in this video. This is the BH Cosmetics Flat Shader Brush. This is what it looks like. Love being able to define my brow line with this brush, it finishes out the, br the brows for me and gives more of a finished and professional look. It's a thicker concealer than I'm used to. Definitely not an everyday concealer for me. Coverage is amazing though, so that's great because that's what a good concealer should do for you, right? Definitely feel like this won't crease based on how thick it is applying to the skin. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I think this would be a fantastic concealer to add to my glam makeup looks for sure. Next up, we're going to do bronzer. I'm going to use the Say Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. This, this is the vibe as I get further away from summer, I go a lot lighter with my bronzers. I'm gonna use the their brush. I don't know what this is called. I think it's just their Kabuki brush, but I find it works really well. And I'm gonna highlight this part of my bone structure. And we're gonna do just a casual contour. I really want more focus to be on the blush of this look. If I didn't already say it, I'm in the color medium bronze. Next, we're gonna go in with some blush. I'm gonna use the Ila Ilia. Oh my gosh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I always forget how to pronounce this. It is their multi-stick in the color Dreamer, and I feel like this gives me pumpkin spice vibes. It's not too orange. I didn't want to do very orange orange. I wanted to do more like warm, warm pumpkin. Does that make sense? But I'm gonna just put it all over my, my face like that. I just, I feel like that's the essence of this look. I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics 124 brush to blend this out. Not too heavy, just light enough. I like it. I know this might be a little extra, but I just really feel like doing this. <gasps> Holy smokes, I forgot to use this brush. This is the brush that comes with the Kylie concealer. I totally forgot to use it. I think this is actually a better brush than what I was using. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, yeah, I'm sorry. Man, I forgot. This is so much better of a brush to use for her concealer. Now we're gonna use a highlighter. This is not necessary, not at all, but I'm just being really extra because I'm so in love with this highlighter right now. It's the Hollywood Beauty Light Wand from Charlotte Tilbury. This is actually her limited edition Disney collection. So hop on it if you want to get it because I don't know how long they're gonna have it, but I just love her Disney collection. It's so beautiful. Get this one. This is giving the spice of a pumpkin spice. I'm gonna just apply that where I usually would apply highlight and above my brow. It's gonna lighten some things up and just, I just love these wands. Take my beauty blender and blend that out. Just lightly, I can go over my, my lids too. Look at that, look at how pretty that is. Now it's time to work on these eyes. I'm so excited. I think this part of the makeup look brings the most allure because you can really have fun with different shadows when it comes to the pumpkin spice theme. You know, I'm gonna use Two things, the Corda Rosa palette from Sigma. We're also going to use this new Fenty Beauty shadow stick in the color Cop That. Copper, you know, that's a play on words. Cop That, that's cute. Pumpkin Spice, hello, do you see it? Oh my gosh. And we're gonna take this color here. It's called Medallion. 
right there. I'm gonna take that blending brush and we're gonna blend into the creases that color. Look at this color for pumpkin spice. If that doesn't say pumpkin, I don't know what does. We're just gonna go all over the lid with this color. Start as the base. Any blending brush will work. This one that I have that I'm using is from MAC. I'll try my best to link it for you. Once we have nicely blended that out of the eye makeup look, we're going to take a small shader brush. This one is also from MAC. It looks like this, something that can get underneath your eyes. I'm gonna take that same color medallion and we're gonna go underneath. Oh yeah, balancing out this look. Very pumpkin-esque, is that a word? No, it's not pumpkin-esque. We can make it a word though, right? Now we're gonna take that Fenty Beauty shadow stick. And again, this is in the color Cop That. This is the first time me using it. It's just such a pretty color. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Look at that. Look at that. Pumpkin spice, yes. This is a very great compliment to the medallion color that we have on the bottom. Pop this on top all over. I love shadow sticks because they're so easy to just blend and work with. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I'm blending it out with my fingers because I feel like a brush would be a little too harsh and it's easier to just use your fingers. I'm gonna take that color and go right into the center on the bottom as it's gonna help bring attention to the middle of your eye and kind of open that eye a little bit more. And I blend it out just like that with my fingers. We're gonna go in with the Cor de Rosa palette from Sigma and we're gonna use this really pretty shimmery color. It's the color Bell of the Ball. We're gonna put that right there. This just adds such dimension to this look and I think finishes this out really nicely. I'm gonna do a small liner. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in the color Voyeur and we're gonna add just a little bit of a line to my top lid. Just something small like this. We're gonna take it out to the eye like that. A little heavy, that's okay. And we're not gonna go full lid. We're just gonna go half lid. Kind of give you like the cat eye effect. I messed that eye up, but that's okay. It can be messy because we're going to take a little shading brush, something like this, something little and flat to help kind of brush the liner out. It's okay if it's a little messy. I kind of like when the eyeliner is a little bit messy like that. I decided to use brown instead of black because I want it to not be so harsh. Messy is fine. It's good, we're gonna clean it up. We're gonna take that flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics that we use for the eyebrows and we're going to take that and create like a line with the residual concealer. Just sharpen this up and just blend that out. Fingers. Sometimes when I'm being lazy and I don't want to do a full eyeliner or add lashes, this is what I do when I'm being lazy. Now we're going to go ahead and do mascara. I'm going to use an eyelash curler because I'm trying to use less mascara so that my eyelashes can grow. Whenever I use an eyelash curler, I find I use less mascara because the mascara is working not as hard to push them up. Let's do the Smashbox Photo Finish Extension Nourishing Lash Primer. I'm doing all these things to protect my lashes lately because I really want them to grow long and voluminous. I really like this primer from Smashbox. I have never used a primer before in my life, but I just started. I can't really tell you guys that it is good because I haven't done it long enough, but we're trying it out. I'm gonna go in with the same Smashbox um, mascara. This is their Fanned Out Mascara. I actually haven't tried this yet, so we're gonna try it. You guys know I'm a huge fan of L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, and that's usually my ride or die, but I'm trying to like, give other mascaras a chance. It's actually not too bad. The brush is a little thicker for my um, liking because I have such small lashes, but I, I really like how this worked really well with the extension primer. I feel like with the primer, it did help. Let's go to the bottom. I really like how L'Oreal Telescopic, their lash wand is so tiny, so you can really get in underneath. It's kind of harder with this one. The formula is good, we'll say that. Now let's do lips. I had a hard time figuring out what lipstick I wanted to do because I saw a lot of people doing like an orangey lipstick and I just don't think that that's gonna work for me. I chose this instead. This is from Kylie Cosmetics. This is her new crayon. I don't know what it's called because it just says Kylie Cosmetics, Kylie Jenner on it. It, but it's a crayon. This color is called Hits Different. I really like that I don't have to use a liner with this because this acts as a liner. I think it's gonna really complement this look really nicely. I love the matteness of it. This was a hit for sure. If I'm going to do a lip, it's gonna be matte. I don't like the shimmery looks. I love how a matte lip looks. I think if I did orange, it would be like too much. That's just my opinion. Okay, last but not least, some setting spray. This is the Saete London Everyday Vacay Spray. Any setting spray will do. Fan it off 
And there you have it. What do you think? I, I love this look. I'm really excited about it. I did not think that I was going to be a huge fan of this makeup look, but I'm so glad that I tried it. We're ready for fall. Where are we going? Pumpkin patch? I think I need to go find a pumpkin patch to go to because I feel like this is deserving of some kind of pumpkin themed event. Or I can just go to Starbucks and get a pumpkin spice latte. That actually might be what I do. Anyway, that is all that I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos from this channel. I'm so excited to be back in action. I think my time is well enough and I need to go get my baby, so I'm gonna go. But thank you again so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.